Hello, welcome back. This is the fourth video that I am filming today. I'm, I'm on a roll. I'm kind of making the most out of being home alone and trying to film as much content as I can. So yeah, hi, welcome back. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk in today's video about my summer capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna do a review of my summer capsule wardrobe. Oh, and this did not go very well at all. I've made a little notes list on my phone about some things that I want to discuss, why it didn't really go too well, what I could do next time. So yeah, I'm going to share my thoughts with you. The, the two main things that kind of seem to spring to mind is one, the weather. We had a really bad summer this year. We didn't really get much of a summer. We had two or three weeks of really hot weather in like June, beginning of June or something and then last week we had a bit of a heat wave we're kind of coming out at the end of it now but in between we didn't really have much of a summer and for a lot of August it started to feel really autumnal so one the weather didn't help the, the fact that I wasn't really wearing much of my summer capsule wardrobe because the weather was so pants but also two just the clothes that was in the capsule wardrobe it just I just don't like dressing for summer. I find it really, really difficult because I'm either wearing too many clothes and I'm too hot or I've, I've, I'm wearing not enough clothes and I feel like I'm showing a lot of flesh and oh, it's just, I find it really difficult. I like autumn, I like winter. I like dressing for autumn and winter because I feel like I can layer more clothes. I find it a lot easier to, to, to dress when it's cold compared to dressing when it's warm. So, to stop me rambling, I'm going to talk through the list that I've made on my phone about why I don't think it particularly went too well. Okay, so the first thing that I've got down is the colours. Now, I did put up a video a few months ago, or, or whenever it was, <laughs> about how I wanted to structure my capsule wardrobes for this year. So, this is the first year that I've ever done a capsule wardrobe. Started off with the spring one, and the summer one was my second time giving a capsule wardrobe a go. So in that video I said that I wanted to take each of the four sub seasons of House of Colour Autumn and assign them to a different season throughout the year. So for spring that was the soft autumn colour palette, for autumn it's going to be the autumn leaf colour palette, for winter it's going to be the dark autumn and for summer I decided to use the vibrant autumn colours and that's just because for me in the summer, hot weather, that equals brightness, bright, vibrant, colourful colours. So I decided to make sure that my summer capsule wardrobe comprised a lot of vibrant autumn colours. However, with some of the outfits I put together, I felt like it was too much, it was too bright, there was clashing going on. So for example, this outfit here, which I really don't like, I like the pieces in this outfit individually, but together I don't like. So the coral sweatshirt I really like, I think it's lovely. The teal kingfisher trousers, really like these. But together, I feel like that is clashing, that's a lot of bright colours together, and I just didn't feel like that really kind of worked. I would style those two pieces very differently and I would not have put them to, together but theoretically the colours are all meant to kind of work together but for that one I think it's too much and because as well I stick to block colours I think that kind of doesn't really help I think if I was to have those colours in a print in a pattern it would be a lot more wearable but block colours like that it's just a lot more colour. Similarly <laughs> with this one orange and red Orange sweatshirt is the same sweatshirt as the coral one, but just in an orange. Again, really love that sweatshirt. Really love the red trousers. They're the same as the teal ones, actually, a bit in a red. <laughs> but together, again, they just look like it's a lot. I'm looking at my phone, by the way. It's a lot of colour. It's very bright, very bold. And I feel like it's not just me. If I was to see these outfits, however, on somebody else who was naturally, or who naturally had a very bold, colourful, creative, personal style, I wouldn't think twice. I'd go, they look really cool. But on me, I don't feel like it's, it's me. So, yeah, the colours, very bright. I felt like they clashed. 
but then on the flip side I felt like there were also colours in my summer capsule wardrobe that were like nothing colours so for example this outfit this is a pink tank top which I have now decluttered I did put up a wardrobe declutter video where I spoke about the items no it wasn't a wardrobe declutter video sorry I spoke about my wardrobe declutter as part of my wardrobe update video and I spoke about these tank tops lots of you said these tank tops don't suit me thank you for confirming <laughs> and this tank top I thought was an autumn pink but actually in hindsight it is a summer pink looks lovely on a summer summer can rock this no problem but on me no and then pairing it with these neutral shorts I just think this looks very bland it's a meh outfit in terms of colour so yeah very wide ranging colours similarly with this outfit here I have also now decluttered this this um, t-shirt and that t-shirt with the same shorts again it's just very meh it's very bland it's it doesn't really do much so I, I need to get the colours right within my summer capsule wardrobe. I, I do still want to have some nice bright colourful clothes but not feel like a clown or like I'm playing dress up in them. It just doesn't quite work on me so I need to get that, that correct balance of colourful clothes but neutrals to help ground it and help earth it. So that was the first note that I've got on my phone. The second one is the fit and actually this is something that I spoke about in my wardrobe update video which thank you so much for your comments on it. This is why I love having my channel because I can I can kind of vent or I can kind of talk about things that I'm unsure about and then you guys will put your comments down and it's so so helpful. So the second thing is about fit and I've put here loose t-shirt and fitted t-shirt. So this outfit, teal trousers with this loose top. So I spoke about loose t-shirts in my wardrobe update video. So I felt like they were quite boxy. I need waist definition. And I think some of you agreed. But what was interesting is that a lot of you said, it's not so much the, the boxiness, it's the neckline. It's the crew neck neckline. So for example, this t-shirt that I've got on here, this is quite kind of baggy, but the fact that there's a v-neck, I feel adds a bit more interest to it. It doesn't feel as basic, as laid back, as natural, I suppose, as how I feel in the crew neck t-shirt. So I think moving forwards for the summer, a v-neck like this, much more flattering on me than a crew neck. However, I did because also, hang on, let's just compare this summer outfit. This summer outfit I actually really liked. This is my green version of this blue top, so a v-neck, much better, better fit. And a neutral pencil skirt, and I think this outfit looks really lovely. So, yeah, staying away from crewneck t-shirts and sticking with v-necks. But also, I've got on here tight-fitting t-shirts. So, I have this orange t-shirt on here with some cream off-white trousers and this is a fitted t-shirt and I think that this despite it still being a crew neck looks better than the looser crew neck t-shirts because I feel like this one here in the orange looks more classic and this is another point <laughs> that I've got on my list so this feeds very nicely into the next point. I think my summer capsule wardrobe is too natural there's not enough classic going on in it. A lot of the clothes are too relaxed, they're too loose. I don't have this balance between loose and fitted within my summer capsule wardrobe. There are a few outfits, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, there are a few outfits like that orange t-shirt and the white trousers that does look like a good balance between loose and fitted but I think overall there was too much looseness, if that's even a word, too much looseness in my summer capsule wardrobe so that is something that I need to balance next year having enough natural breathability relaxedness is that even a word and classic structure put together elevated elegance easy elegance an elevated look <laughs> to my outfits so yeah that is something that I need to work on next year not too much natural a good balance between natural and classic so this next point is something else that I mentioned in my wardrobe update video and you guys did agree with it actually and tank tops. I don't think tank tops 
are the best fit or the most flattering style of top for my body. And tank tops are something that is a regular in summer capsule wardrobe. It's a it's a an essential that you need for your summer wardrobe. Now I did say in my wardrobe update that the three that I had they're very tight, they're very clingy, so I feel very hot in them. I'm also not keen on all of the colours, they're all very kind of like meh colours, they're not the best colours for me. So I was debating whether next summer I try tank tops again, but not from H&M, from somewhere else. So they're possibly a bit more lightweight, a bit a bit looser, perhaps a bit more breathable, but in better autumn colours. So like a nice sage green or an olive green, a, a rust, for example, a nice camel colour. Something with more saturation, with more pop, with more wow for me than these colours that I've got here. But yeah, a few of you did say tank tops not great on you, which I do agree with. But you guys also gave me some suggestions of things to go for next year as well. So I had suggestions for linen shirts, linen t-shirts, linen trousers, so I can get that breathability, but it still adheres to my natural classic clothing personality. So once again, thank you so much for your comments. Honestly, it's so helpful to, to hear your opinions. And I'm gonna make a list on my phone of all of your suggestions. So I have that on me for next summer. So when next summer arrives, I can start to kind of add in some of these things you guys have said because I, I totally agree with your suggestions. Okay, last couple of things. Too many options and too many colours. Now I have kind of spoken about the colours, but the fact that there were bright colours and neutral meh colours, but I feel like there were too many colours from within my capsule wardrobe. And partly, not partly, but that is pretty much my fault because <laughs> I'm the one buying my clothes. And I think as well, because I have recently, within the last year, had my colours done, because I've got my colour fan and I've got these at least 36 colours that I can have in my wardrobe, so many more colours than I knew suited me, there was a part of me that just wanted to play with all of these colours. And I think that's fine when you have your colours done because it has opened up lots of different possibilities for you and it's only natural to want to kind of play and, and figure out what works best for you. And there are some colours that I'm not really bothered about having, so not bothered about lizard grey, not bothered about royal purple for example, so there are a few that I'm like meh, I, I'm not fussed whether I have those in my collection or not, but then there are those colours that I know I love, like the traditional autumn colours. So I think the fact that I had too many colours to, to choose from within my autumn, not autumn, within my summer capsule wardrobe helped with the clashing <laughs> going on and just didn't make it feel as, as put together, as refined as say my spring capsule wardrobe felt. The summer one felt a lot messier like there wasn't as much thought put into it even though I had put a lot of thought into it it just didn't translate into nice looking outfits so too many colors and there were also too many options so I made a list on my phone of every single piece of clothing within my summer capsule wardrobe and I paired it with every piece in the wardrobe so for example I had my teal trousers linked with every single top within my summer capsule wardrobe and it meant that there were loads of varieties of outfits that I could make. Which I suppose is good because that's the point of a capsule wardrobe, to create as lots of different outfits as possible, but that should be with as few items as possible, whereas with, with my capsule wardrobe there were loads of items so that meant loads of possibilities and that also made it feel quite messy because there were just so many things that could go together but lots of them just didn't work. Now like I say this is my second time doing a capsule wardrobe and how I've done it is that I've basically gone through my entire wardrobe and gone will I wear that in summer, will I not? If it's a yes it's in the capsule whereas actually what would be better for my capsule is to go well these are all of my summer clothes but which are the, the key ones that I want to make sure I'm, I'm including in my day-to-day -day outfits. That would be a better way to do it, but that just wasn't the way that I did it. So yeah, there are so, so many combinations of outfits that I, I could have made and it did feel a little bit, a little bit overwhelming, I think, to have that many clothes to choose from. So overall, it just felt like a very 
messy, unstructured capsule wardrobe and then the outfits that I was putting together, I didn't feel like they were the the best for my body shape. They, they didn't truly honor my natural classic clothing personality. They weren't the best colors as well, even though I tried to make sure that they were vibrant autumn colors. It all just felt a bit off, coupled with the fact that you know, the weather wasn't great, I wasn't wearing many of the outfits, and also that I just don't like dressing for the summer. So, <laughs> very messy capsule wardrobe, didn't really go to plan, didn't really enjoy it, and I'm hoping for much better success with my autumn capsule wardrobe. But because I've already touched on a few of these items in my wardrobe update video that I put up a few videos ago, you guys have already commented, you've given me some suggestions of how to improve on my summer capsule wardrobe, so I will bear that in mind for next year. Like I say, I'll make another list on my notes app of some clothing suggestions that you recommended that I add into my wardrobe for next summer. So hopefully, if I do another summer capsule wardrobe next year, it will be a lot more successful than this year. But hey ho, you don't know until you try it. It's, it's a learning process. And I, I think that is actually the key takeaway for, for me. From this summer capsule wardrobe that there's a lot of learning to be had from it i know what doesn't work but also what hopefully will work so yeah i've not particularly enjoyed it but it is something that i am going to learn from so hope you liked this little ramble of a video if you have any other suggestions any other tips or tricks anything that you think would be helpful please do drop me a comment as always really interested to hear what you all have to say so thank you once again if you have sort of commented on any of my videos i do really love reading what you have to say so thank you very much for watching hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up please also subscribe if you haven't as well not all of my videos are as rambly as this one so <laughs> have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you again very soon for my next one bye